It's in her, it's in her head. So get ready, because we say she likes to bring the fire. And that's like not normal for DC agency heads. So please welcome Deputy Mayor Nina Albert of Planning and Economic Development. A script because everyone wants me to stick to the one minute and 30 seconds that you've allotted to me. That's all right. Thank you so much, uh, Ebony. Thank you, Jaron. Can I just say the strength and partnership between the downtown DC bid and the government is so incredibly essential. And I'm in grateful this holiday season as we enter into it. I'll say it every time I get up uh, in a podium the work that the downtown DC bid does is just vital and it's vibrant. And thank you. Um, so, I can't be up here and just not recognize a monumental achievement that just occurred earlier this week. So we submit it, thank you. <laughs> Mayor Bowser submitted uh, to the DC Council for their approval uh, the contracts that allow and effectuate uh, the public-private partnership between uh, DC and Monumental Sports that enables them to stay in the District of Columbia for up to 50 years. So we are incredibly excited by that. And let me just say, I've seen a little sneak preview of what their plans are. They are looking at renovating the arena inside and out. And what we're working with them on with the Gallery Place Task Force is really how to make the investment that is in, yes, one building, but in actuality in the neighborhood, uh, because it will have all of these other tangential effects uh, because the design will reach through to the streetscape and to how this building interfaces with the portrait gallery, how F Street, how G Street can be transformed, how 7th Street becomes the inviting avenue from the National Mall into Shaw into Shaw, it's that connector. It's really crazy, people don't think of that orientation, how important Gallery Place Chinatown was designed by Pierre L'Enfant to be the heart, the center of this city. And so we are going to live up to that promise. Um, also, I wanna share that uh, Monumental Sports um, are eight theaters that are in this district and our 18 museums and cultural institutions have been working together because all of us recognize that activations throughout the year um, have a very important place, particularly in an entertainment district. People should be able to come and not necessarily know what they're gonna get and not necessarily know what to expect and be delighted every time. And so the holiday market to me is just a little piece of that. And I'm just really um, excited about another uh, announcement that was made earlier this week that might have gotten a little bit passed over in the shadow of the announcement that the deal was moving forward, which is that Ted Leonsis opened up his personal collection of Harry Benson photographs. Um, he took two vacant storefronts, completely renovated them. It is now an art gallery, a two-story art gallery, with some of the most iconic presidential photographs, uh, photographs of the Beatles when they came to the United States for the first time, um, photographs of Cassius Clay and some of his most intimate moments and thoughts, um, Martin Luther King Jr. at his wake. I mean, it is moving and it is free to the public and it is yet another cultural contribution um, and experience that you can have when we come downtown. So, I just want to come back to the downtown holiday market. I grew up in Europe, as some of you might know, and I grew up uh, in places where in the holidays there was the night market, you know, where you would go, and you'd have a hot cup of cocoa. In my case, I would have some glue vine, um, and you would enjoy uh, being in the festive holiday season. And so I'm so excited about what you're gonna bring to us this year, about expanding it, make it be, making it bigger and better, and just uh, wanna thank all of you out there, starting with the Downtown DC bid, but for all of you who are sponsors, who are contributors, who are activators, and who are participants in the holiday market. Thank you, Jaron, thank you all of you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. So now we're gonna hear from a person who really is a staunch supporter of small businesses. And not just in title, but in, in promise and in what she does to ensure that small businesses thrive because we need a, a mix of, of uses. So I wanna bring to the stage Director of Department of Small and Local Business Development, Ms. Rosemary Suggs. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I would just like to say before I read off of my script, 
that I think I align Council Member Pinto with your mom. Because up until coming through these doors this morning, I was about, we have to enjoy each holiday. They each need their time. But I have converted. Thank you, downtown BC Ben. So the holidays are truly a special time here in DC. Our city really comes to life with the spirit of the season. And there's no better place to experience that than right here at the downtown holiday market. This market is more than just a festive destination. It celebrates our incredible small businesses and the community of our small businesses. DSLBD is a proud champion of our small business community and our local entrepreneurs, giving them the platform to shine during the holiday season. That is why I'm so excited about the Made in D.C. booth return. Remember that, Made in D.C. We have been a partner with our downtown holiday market for years, and it will be returning bigger and better than ever this year. As part of our efforts to support local entrepreneurs, the Made in D.C. program promotes locally crafted products and provides small business opportunities to grow and gain visibility through key marketplaces, including the downtown holiday market. Over the years, this market has attracted over 100,000 visitors, providing invaluable exposure to small businesses and an impact we're excited to keep growing. And those businesses that are part of the Made in DC family have sold out every year. So as you're thinking and we're preparing for the holidays, Please remember to shop small. Please remember to think of your local businesses. You are not just supporting those businesses, you're supporting those employees and supporting DC government overall. DC, DC, not DC government. <laughs> the district overall. Thank you so much. Director Suggs Evans. Okay, I know you all want to hear about what's new, so it's coming. It's coming right now. So the person I'm bringing to the stage, you all know and love. Every time we're on the street with him, any of the of the team, hey Jared, hey, like we can't go anywhere with you. So he is well known. He's popular, but he is a staunch supporter of downtown and of DC. And so he really doesn't need an introduction. I could, member of Kappa Alpha Psi, a father of Sasha, and oh no, those are the dogs. Sasha, um, what are the kids' names? <laughs> Gabrielle and Stella, it's time to move on. Okay, so please put your hands together for President and CEO of the downtown DC bid, Jaron Price. So in downtown DC, we're all about bringing the energy and we have a little chant that we do as a team. We're gonna do it right here. So when I say downtown, I need you to say DC. Can we try that y'all? Yeah. You had enough uh, hot chocolate and coffee. You guys ready to do that? When I say downtown, so here it goes. When I say downtown, you say DC. DC. Downtown. DC. Downtown. DC. When I say downtown, you say DC. Downtown. DC. Downtown. DC. Let's go, are y'all excited yet? It is such a pleasure to welcome you to our Mingle and Jingle Downtown DC Holiday Market Preview event. We are so incredibly excited about this year's holiday season right here in downtown. Um, I gotta tell I'm just overjoyed. I'm, I'm looking around and everyone who's in this room, you are here because you are a very important person in the downtown ecosystem. I'm seeing uh, agency leaders, city leaders are uh, so glad to have our Deputy Mayor Lindsay Apia, our Police Chief Pam Smith here in the building um, because as you said, Councilmember Pinto, safety is such a critical element for downtown and this year's market will be safe. Um, we're so grateful for the support of our public safety officials of MPD. Uh, thank you to MPD 1D and 2D who are in the house as well. We're so glad that you're here. Um, we're just so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly excited to be here with all of you. Um, now, as we said, we have a lot that we want to roll out and talk about, but I will acknowledge it feels a little interesting that this is October um, and happened to be the hottest October in the history of all time. So I was not able to wear my velvet Santa suit today as I wanted to do. It was a little, a little too warm for that. Um, but I, I do take some pride in knowing that this is most likely the very first holiday party that you will attend this year. So I will proudly wear that badge and we will wear that badge as the downtown DC bid. 
Now, I want to just take a few moments, as Ms. Ebony Walton shared, we have a lot of great uh, updates that we want to share with you about the downtown D.C. holiday market. So obviously we're here uh, to talk about and celebrate that. But I got to tell you, there is so much more that we have in store for this holiday season. And as part of the efforts that Deputy Mayor Albert talked about uh, with our Gallery Place Chinatown Task Force, we've really leaned in this year to say, how can we amplify something that people already love about downtown? You know, this holiday, holiday market has been a beloved tradition for now celebrating 20 years. Uh, but we want to amplify it, make it even more special, and, and highlight all the great things that happen throughout our downtown core, in our different cultural institutions, that our businesses support, and really talk about it as a total ecosystem of holiday fun that everybody in the city, the region, and the world can be a part of. And so today we're going to talk holiday market, and we're going to talk about all the other happenings that you can get excited about starting today. Now, I want to just start by saying uh, a little bit about the logistics of the market. So uh, we are back. We are back, and it will be bigger, better, and brighter than ever. Uh, the downtown D.C. holiday market will officially launch on November 22nd, uh, 2024, and we run through December 23rd, uh, and that is going to be open daily from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, the only day that we're closed throughout the season is Thanksgiving Day, um, but otherwise you can come and get any of your holiday shopping done at the downtown D.C. Holiday Market uh, from November 22nd through the 23rd. Now we have a number of amazing new activations and things that we want to talk about uh, this year, and I'll tell you, throughout this uh, presentation today, we're going to have a little bit of some uh, surprise reveals, and we have a special guest from the North Pole, who we're gonna surprise you with, who's gonna help us to make some of those reveals. So brace yourself now, who could that guest be? We'll find out, it might not be who you're thinking, you will find out very soon. So don't be surprised if you get a surprise visit throughout this course of my presentation. Um, but we have some special gifts that'll help us roll out some of those new activations. Now, if we're talking about the uh, downtown DC holiday market, again, we are in the same place that everybody knows and loves, F Street, Northwest, uh, centered between 7th and 9th streets. This is just in front of the National Portrait Gallery and Smithsonian American Art Museum, known as the Donald Reynolds Center, uh, and steps away from the Capital One Arena, incredibly metro accessible and a fun space for all. Um, but what's new this year is that that footprint has been expanded. So we started out many, many years ago just on the sidewalk. We then moved during the pandemic to be in the street. This year, Go figure, we'll be in the street and the sidewalk, which allows us to <laughs> double our capacity and have even more vendors. So what does that mean? We're going from 70 vendors to almost 110 vendors on site. Uh, again, with local handcrafted products, um, art, just amazing things that you can tap into to fulfill your holiday shopping needs. Uh, this will truly be a holiday market for everyone. Now. We are also going to be debuting a new look that hopefully will stir up some uh, joy, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, some other exciting features, we have our Winter Chalet that is making its debut this year. That is a central market bar brought to you by Dirty Habit at the Hotel Monaco, where you can enjoy holiday beverages, both adult and non-adult beverages, so something for everyone at the downtown DC holiday market, uh, but will truly be a fun and festive space. We're also rolling out Rudolph's Play Zone. Rudolph's Play Zone, a fun activation specifically for children to come enjoy and have an amazing time at the downtown DC Holiday Market. And one of my personal favorites, we got photo ops galore, but there's one I want you to check out called Chillin' with My Snowmies. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? Chillin' with My Snowmies, you don't wanna miss it. Make sure you get your photo at that amazing op and some of the others that'll be on site. Um, and last but not least, I've had a lot of people ask me, will there be food, will there be churros? A lot of people have asked me that question. It's like the number one question. Jared, are the churros going to be back? I want to break the news to you now. You heard it first across every news platform in the region. The churros will be back at the downtown D.C. holiday market. We can clap for that. And we are expanding our food vendor offerings so that we have even more holiday treats for you to enjoy, including s'mores and more, uh, empanadas, waffles. We have a raclette uh, station. If you don't know raclette, that's that delicious hot cheese over bread. It's going to be amazing. It will smell fantastic. You're not going to want to miss the downtown D.C. holiday market. It will truly be fantastic. Now, I want to say a little bit about our new market operators, because that is another big change for this year. 
Um, and this particular team is incredibly special. Um, sitting in our front row here, I want to acknowledge Tiz and Delicanto and Julie uh, Feltman, uh, who are the founders and the women behind the Maker Show team. Uh, the Maker Show is a mixed-use platform uh, that specializes in putting on some of the nation's best community markets, like uh, the holiday market that we all know and love. Um, they were hired this year to expand and help us diversify this year's event uh, and to bring an elevated look and feel uh, to the market that we have all grown accustomed to. Now, the Maker Show is, again, founded by women, and these are women who are committed to diversity and committed to supporting the growth of small businesses and local makers and artisans. Um, and as part of our commitment uh, to providing more opportunities to small local businesses, I'm really too excited to talk about some of the just strategic ways that they help to diversify the vendor mix this year. Um, they have offered reduced booth rent structures, uh, staggered activations, and even a scholarship opportunity. Uh, more diversity means a more diverse range of product mixes and more people uh, being able to benefit from being involved in the downtown DC holiday market. In fact, I'm excited to say, because of the work of the Maker Show team, thank you Tiz and Julie, 90% of our vendors are BIPOC, LGBTQIA+, or women-owned. Can we give a round of applause for that? That is huge. We want to thank you for your commitment to diversity, to equity, to inclusion. That means so much to us. And additionally, 17 of those vendors have received scholarship funds to make it possible for them to be in the downtown DC holiday market. Thank you, Tiz and Julie. We're incredibly excited to have you working with us. But wait, there's more. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about the new look of the market. So I said an elevated look and feel. We want to inspire and create something that is truly magical. And if you look on the screen, it's a little sense of what our site map will look like. So again, we're expanding beyond just the street. So we're incorporating the sidewalks and really thinking about uh, the Donald Renner Center, that portrait gallery, Smithsonian American Art Museum space as the centerpiece of all the action. We'll have a beautiful uh, space for uh, people to engage and eat some uh, communal tables surrounded by our winter chalet and bar. I mean, all of this, again, happening in the total ecosystem, all the dynamic and beautiful parts of downtown DC that we love so much. Um, there will also be some more uh, beautiful decor uh, throughout the holiday market. And I want you to take a look at some of those decor elements now. Uh, lit archways with garlands, uh, beautiful lit stars that create photo opportunities, and the actual infrastructure for our booths, uh, we're upgrading this year. Not just those uh, plastic tents. We're going to have weatherproof wooden structures, so it really feels like a true pop-up holiday market for the entirety of the season. Doesn't that look like a place you want to be? That's why you want to be downtown for the holidays, and you want to be at the downtown DC holiday market. So we're incredibly excited about that. Now, I want to move on and talk about the official launch event of the Downtown DC Holiday Market. Again, we kick off and open doors 12 noon on November 22nd, and we have a special kickoff event that I promise you don't want to miss. It will be hosted by NBC4's Mallette Green, and we have a special performance by the Washington Youth Chorus, uh, I'm sorry, Washington Performing Arts Chorus. You do not want to miss this special event. It will blow your mind. It will be incredibly fun, and it will just be the beginning of an amazing time uh, at the downtown DC holiday market. Now, I mentioned we might have a guest who will help us do a special reveal, and to make that first reveal, I'm going to call out a particular guest. I see Latoya Foster from the office of uh, cable film, television, music, entertainment. Can you come on up here, Director Foster? Give her a round of applause. And, and I think I hear a jingle bell. Do I hear a jingle bell somewhere, guys? Is there a jingle bell? Do I hear it? What is that? Well, let me tell you something. Director Foster, there was a little nasty rumor going around that the downtown DC holiday market wasn't going to have live music this year. And I said, what? Is that true? What's going on? So now I think it's time to reveal the very first gift that we have to share today. So let's get that very first gift out. And here's our special guest from the North Pole, one of Santa's helpers themselves. Give it up for Santa's helper. And Director Foster, help him open up that gift and see what's inside. Let's see what it is here. What could it be? The suspense is killing me. Drum roll, drum roll or something. There it goes. And here it is. What could it be? Music. Music. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that this year, the Downtown DC Holiday Market Stage will be programmed 
by entertain DC and with sounds of the city holiday style I want to introduce director Foster to say a little bit more about what you can expect about all the amazing live entertainment that will be at the downtown DC holiday market Thank you, Jaren, and good morning, everyone. I don't know about you all, but I said, you know what? I'm ready for the skip. Skip Halloween, Thanksgiving, we can go straight to Christmas. I'm ready. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. So we are so excited at OCTFME to partner with the Downtown Bid to bring the sounds of the city to the holiday market. This dope gives you an idea that we're gonna bring sounds that not only have our residents from across all A wars, fa la 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 line, <laughs> but it's going to attract visitors, visitors who come here from all over the world, sending them, sending them back home, giving them something to talk about. So we are extremely excited to partner with you all. We don't wanna give it all away. We just want you to come down, be downtown, get in the holiday spirit, spread the word, tell a friend. Right now, you all should have your phones out. Everybody should be on Instagram right now, hashtagging be downtown, hashtagging holiday market, and making sure that you spread the word early so that everyone can come down and enjoy the sounds of the city every weekend at the holiday market presented by the Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment. So thank you all. We're excited. Jared, we're going to be following all along. So, so exciting. Uh, again, thank you so much, Director Foster. We are so excited about all the amazing live music that will be at the downtown DC Holiday Market. Um, and I want to take a moment to say, uh, Director Foster, you, you spoiled the fun a little bit here. Let's take a look at what that website looks like. I want to encourage you right now, if you haven't done it already, bookmark this website, downtowndcholidaymarket.com. This is where you can find all the information that you need to know about the downtown DC holiday market, uh, including information about our live soundstage, a beautiful vendor map to let you know exactly where those vendors will be throughout the market, and more. So you want to make sure that you check this out. And of course, we are social, so please take a moment, even right now, I know a lot of y'all are on Instagram, we are too, at downtown DC holiday market is the place to be for all the updates all the stories, all the things you don't want to miss out on. So please make sure that you follow us on all of those platforms. All right, I want to keep it moving a little bit and switch gears some. So I'm going to take a step away from the holiday market and talk about some of those amazing activations throughout our downtown core. Now, Director Foster, you also stole a little of my thunder on the be downtown part of this conversation because we encourage you to be downtown for the holiday season this year. Be downtown for the holidays. And as part of that effort, we have a number of new activations and experiences that we cannot wait uh, to share with you. I'll start with the first one. Uh, we are excited to welcome back this year, Frosted at Franklin Park. Frosted at Franklin is returning, and this is a beautiful, illuminated experience where the entire park will be washed with light and color that you don't want to miss. Some amazing photo opportunities and pop-up activations throughout the holiday season. It kicks off on November 22nd and we encourage you to be there. You can again find more information about that at downtowndcholidaymarket.com. Now I also want to talk about another very special activation this year and I I think I hear another jingle bell. Do I hear a jingle bell? <laughs> Wait, I hear a jingle bell. I think there's another gift, and I'm gonna ask a dear friend of mine, May Lee, to please come up with May Lee Design. May, why don't you come join me for this special reveal that we have here. You guys ready for another reveal? All right, thank you, Santa's helper. Let's get that box open and see what could be inside. Drum roll or jingle bell ring or something? There we go. In case you can't tell what that is, ladies and gentlemen, this is a mistletoe. And I'm excited to announce that this year, we are launching for the very first time the National Mistletoe at Anthem Row. The National Mistletoe, you give a round of applause for that. You might be wondering, what's a National Mistletoe? They have a National Christmas tree, why not a National Mistletoe? We are excited to erect a huge, beautifully constructed mistletoe art installation presented and produced by world-renowned artist May Lee, uh, who's gonna lend her talents. Uh, again, this is a sample of what you can expect, uh, but she's gonna do a beautiful uh, installation just above this uh, catwalk at Anthem Row, which is formerly known as Tech World Plaza, just across from the Carnegie Library and the Apple Store. 
Uh, this will go up with a special launch event that, again, you don't want to miss happening in November. Um, and it's a great place to bring the person who you love and get under that mistletoe and uh, make some holiday magic happen. So we encourage you to check that out and just to be excited. We are incredibly excited about it.